Ceiling shots are becoming an important part of High Level Rocket League. There are many reasons why this is. Using the ceiling can be an effective way to open up angles of approach to the ball that would otherwise be impossible. As with wall shots, you can get to the ball while using less boost. But more than anything, ceiling shots can be incredibly unpredictable. Now there's really one big reason why ceiling shots are so unpredictable, and it has to do with the physics of Rocket League. In Rocket League, your car has two jumps available, as long as they happen within one and a half seconds. However, if your car becomes airborne without you using that first jump, the one and a half second rule doesn't apply. This means that you can now use the dodge whenever you want. So how do you get your car to leave a surface without jumping? There are four ways that I know of. One, by being propelled after a goal explosion. This doesn't really apply because at that point, gameplay is over. Two, by flying off the ceiling of the goal, 3 by having all four wheels touch the ball, and last, by falling off the ceiling. Okay, now that we understand how this is possible, let's go over exactly how to hit a ceiling shot. As with most things in Rocket League, the first touch is the most important. The key to setting up a good ceiling shot is to hit the ball off of the wall at more of an upward angle. Most of us are used to setting up air dribbles, and when we first try a ceiling shot, we hit the ball off of the wall the same way. The setup for a ceiling shot is not the same as the setup for an air dribble. Your car needs to be traveling up the wall at more of a vertical angle, so that your car is heading straight up the wall towards the ceiling. Once I realized this, things started clicking for me. Practice this first touch over and over again. Work on hitting the ball from different heights on the wall. What you're really trying to do is just clip the ball with the front corner of your car as your car is heading up the wall onto the ceiling. This should really be one smooth motion. The next part of hitting a ceiling shot is the transition from the wall to the ceiling. After your car touches the ball, you need to hustle straight up the wall onto the ceiling. This is the quickest part of the ceiling shot. You really can't do this too fast. Alright, so now your car is actually on the ceiling. If your first touch is what it should be, which obviously won't always happen, you shouldn't have to jump off of the ceiling towards the ball. But if you hit the ball too hard towards the ceiling, it's going to bounce off the ceiling, and really your only option will be to jump off and hit it. But your goal should definitely be to avoid having to do that, because at that point you've lost all of the unpredictability of the ceiling shot. Ideally the ball is floating out towards the ceiling, and you can simply drive towards it while letting gravity pull your car off of the ceiling. This is one of the harder parts of hitting ceiling shots. Most of us are not used to starting an aerial while falling with that initial pull from gravity. As with every part of the ceiling shot, this is something you're just going to have to get used to. At first, just work on getting your car to the ball and hitting it. I'm going to cover advanced ceiling shots in an upcoming video, so for now just work on hitting the ball high into the net and practice delaying the dodge to make your shots as unpredictable as possible. Okay, here's a few small tips that will really help you to improve at ceiling shots. Unlike air dribbles, ceiling shots are easier if you can hit the ball from the top portion of the wall, not the bottom portion. Two, try to experiment with your air roll to hit the ball at different angles. And last, I've put Mason RL's training pack in the description below. It's really for air dribbling, but it's actually perfect for ceiling shots as well. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like me to do a tutorial on next. Thanks for watching.